Hello friends, who says homeopathy is easy? We are posed with different challenges every day. And we have to, you know, exercise our brain. Think of different approaches, different strategies to treat the patient. And who else, you know, can demonstrate this than the person who has all the knowledges from different schools of uh, homeopathy. So with integrated approach we will try to see a see how dr aditi has solved a case in a very different way and then we will try to explore the remedy through all possible sources and try to evolve a image materia medica of this remedy is very limited we couldn't find much information in all the books uh, we couldn't even find proving then there are a lot of rubrics though, but then connecting those rubrics without a case becomes very difficult. So Dr. Aditi is going to present two cases of this rare remedy and we will see different shades of this remedy through source language, through doctrine of signature, through rubrics, through PEM and through, uh, and we will also compare the different remedies coming up in a comparison. So doc, I will invite Dr. Aditi to share her case. Thank you, Anita. And uh, yeah, we'll start my case. Yeah, my screen is visible. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So, friends, I'm going to describe uh, cases of uh, Letrodectus hazelty, a spider remedy, not very frequently prescribed. And uh, we will uh, see uh, uh, go through the journey of a Letrodectus hazelty through the case. This is a little long case. It's been there uh, with me since many years. And I will try and project as much information as much I can so that the picture of Letrodectus and how I have derived Letrodectus will uh, come clearer. So this, this is a case of a 26-year-old female coming, with, coming to me with irregular periods and amenorrhea since last four months. Uh, she has bloodstained leukorrhea, also complaining of uh, abdominal severe abdominal pain on and off since long time, uh, uh, bloating of abdomen, constipation and diarrhea alternating with sticky stool and uh, mucus. Also, she complained of pain of hands and legs with swellings on and off. And all her pains, when she describes, are very, very severe pain, uh, debilitating kind of pains. Tingling, numbness, bubbling sensation in the extremities. And she says that I can see those bubbles. Uh, Along with this, there is a, a complaint of severe drain of energy. Means she doesn't even get up from the bed for two, two days. She's just lying down. She's telling me, I, I have no energy to even get up. Then uh, describing further, she's saying no motivation to get up and do the work. Presently, she is in catering business, but she feels very bored. She doesn't want to do small routine works. She said that I will do only the plating work. Uh, she is into the healthy um, uh, healthy food tiffin business. And she said, I will only do the plating work. I will do the uh, uh, decoration and arrangements of the all the cells and different food. But I will not do uh, the other part of the uh, business, uh, business work. Then fears and anxieties, whether business will pick up or not lot of fears and anxieties and in these fears and anxieties then she will just go to the bed and she will not do anything then takes up every task and business initially with enthusiasm and but later on she becomes bored with it in her own words these are her words i like to chase once it becomes monotonous i live it then there are uh, these and the, her own these uh, different uh, instabilities leads to her anxieties and panics because she cannot be stable in any particular business, in any particular work, anywhere. Then and then this anxiety, panic and the loss of confidence. I will not be able to do anything in the life. 
I don't know what will I do, what is my future. Then uh, in continuation of her mind picture, her nature, she's telling, I am scared of public presentations. I cannot bear those all eyes on me. One on one, I can mix with any age group from childhood to the old person. I can be very free with anybody. Group presentation, I am gone. I don't like to work in groups. I cannot make any commitment. I am doubtful of my own capacity, whether I will be able to do or not. Then uh, when I was talking about certain relationship issues, these, that, then she said, uh, she, I cannot give anything in the any relationship. I cannot give much. I don't expect much and I don't give uh, much. At the same time, in the second sentence, she is again saying, I expect reciprocation. So there, is, there was a kind of this uh, kind of uh, different, different versions also and different confusion talks also you see in her talks. Then I can't forgive people. I remember hurts very clearly. I constantly feel that people misunderstand me. Uh, once I, I, when I'm describing, I will take you to the journey of the patient. So you, these, all these sentences also will make much more sense, sense to you all. Then once I, uh, I, I cannot forgive people and once I block people, they don't exist for me. It can be anybody, family, friends, I don't care. There is a lot of irritability and anger in her nature. She is cross with family members, friends, everywhere she has problems. And even if I realize my mistake, I am not going to say sorry for anything. Very impulsive. I can, I am very impulsive. Even I get, I get uh, impulse to shop anytime, day and night and I will just buy. She buys without purpose also, she will do shopping. Even she would buy limited edition uh, luxury items also. If she decide, if she feels she wants it, she wants it. I compromise only, mostly for myself. I cannot compromise for others. Then we were talking about some other uh, her habits and all and all because uh, in her habits and all she was talking that if she uh, as she is very impulsive she was telling that you know in the middle of the night also she would get the impulse to go out and smoke or to, uh, just to go out and cycle uh, cycling in the middle of the night uh, uh, just go on a drive in the middle of the night and then uh, then I, I said one uh, the one side you have so much of fears and anxieties she said yes i have a lot of fear uh, if i am driving in the middle of the night and if someone will stop me i will run over him with my car i won't even blink i mean i got free frozen for a second that uh, one side uh, anxious fearful person the other side there is so much of violence fear of uh, then she has fear of fish pigeons chicken insects spiders close spaces crowd loud sounds i can't go to club i can't tolerate loud music and lots of people then another uh, feature of hers i am very controlling type i want to control things i want to control things to the extent of ocds i i need cleanliness i i need my bed sheets and everything to be clean and and very uh, peculiar thing she told me about was i uh, i i don't like uh, uh, outside air on my body i feel outside air on my body and i need to be clean so i have to take bath before going to bed um, bed sheets and blankets should not have smell of my body i wear socks 24 by 7 my feet should be clean then there are dreams, dream, anxious dreams, nightmares, and she wakes up from the sleep, uh, sweating on the palms and all. Then dreams of falling, sensation of crashing on the bed in the dream, dreams of being trapped, dreams of attacked by insects, birds, spiders, dreams of being stuck in the situation. I can't get out. Dreams of fishes. And just general habits, smoking four to five cigarettes a day, alcohol twice a week i am very i am very basic person i like only black blue and white color 
I want to go to a small city and settle there, open my cafe and stay close to the nature. Now, this is what she described to me about herself in two to three meetings, uh, interviews which uh, I had with her. Now, I basically this girl, I know her since childhood. So I, I have a whole of her journey in front of me. So I know in childhood, how has she been? She in the preschool days time, she was very restless child, always jumping, running, never sit at one place in the school, you know, in the class, in the car, auto, anywhere. She would jump on her mother even when she's driving. And uh, the, always attention seeking, either through loudness of the behavior or through some, some faking or real, some injury, some pain. And uh, smallest injury, she will have a lot of pain and a lot of halagulla and hangama with that. Very hypochondriac. She can make friends with anyone instantly, but cannot maintain any friendship. Always complains, grievances, falsely accusing friends, maids at home. Everywhere you see a lot of her uh, uh, behavioral issues right from childhood. So uh, then in adolescent age, uh, my observations were at home also, she will be cross with everybody, screaming, shouting, crying, total disobedience, defiance, obstinate, rebellious. She will behave according to her whims and fancies. She would, she likes football, cycling, kickboxing, hiking, trekking, and she would get more and more involved in that only. Uh, studying, she, uh, she was less interested. Uh, but she was good in studies, little bit also she would manage. She will be very overactive and very overactive and then the phase will come, she will sleep for two days. She won't even come to school or go to college. She won't even come out. She says, I am very tired, exhausted, very tomboyed uh, type, not afraid of anybody, liar, manipulations. Even complaints from schools and colleges, uh, school also, college also. She had changed courses also, colleges also. She was given final warning for the uh, uh, disciplinary action uh, from the college also for smoking and all. Then as an adult, after finishing her studies and everything also, she always wanted to uh, take cooking as her career. And finally studying different, different courses, changing colleges and then left everything. And then again, uh, uh, went for her cooking uh, studies. She did her cooking uh, course and started her cooking business. Uh, but after starting the business also, she didn't want to work for that. She didn't want to do everything about that business. I am interested only in plating. She only want, uh, then other works regarding the food and all, uh, she will not do. I don't want that kind of responsibilities. I am not meant for that. My capabilities should be used for this. So, uh, so then ultimately close that business also and now doing some job in the hospitality sector. Cannot stay everywhere for some or other problem uh, she is very unrestrictive and uh, shamelessness no uh, uh, proper clothes nothing so uh, this is what my observation through different phases of her life now um, I was thinking I had given her uh, through jumping and through her overactivity and all these things. I gave her a different remedies, tarantula and uh, uh, the uh, moscus and all. In interestingly, once I had given her moscus also, when she had complained of uh, very severe pain in abdomen and uh, nothing she was responding to. And she was uh, coaxing her parents so much that you you admit me in the hospital and everything. And then her mother called me up saying all these things are happening. I said, why it is happening? And over the years, parents also know. She said uh, her exams are there. And I don't think so. She has studied anything. And uh, now she wants this way. Uh, so then I that time I gave her Moscus 1M. And uh, after giving Moscus 1M, her... Uh, uh, three hourly I repeated two doses her pain subsided completely and somehow what Moscus did for her was amazing she set for studies she set for studies whole night she studied and next day she gave the exam also 
But then this time when she came for these uh, 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 menstrual problems and uh, amenorrhea, I, I was giving her moscus, not working. I gave her tarantula, not working. So now I will show my journey how I came to Letrodectus. So then I said, this is definitely an animal kingdom remedy. There is a lot of victimization feeling, superior, inferior, a lot of animation in her, attack, defense, sexuality, conflicts. So I was feeling that this is an animal kingdom remedy. Animal kingdom, then I said, this is what invertebrate because of her suddenness of uh, her moodiness, her fears. Her, her uh, uh, this uh, different intense pains, her sensitivity to pain, uh, sensitivity to noise, uh, crowd, then and very self-centered, uh, cannot, I mean, cannot think beyond herself at all. So she doesn't have the capability to think beyond herself, you know, difficult relationships, lo low morals. So I felt that this is definitely invertebrate. Then I said, now this is spider quality only, all adolescent quality, air quality, trapped feeling. She, she is unrestrictive. She wants freedom from everywhere. She wants to go to the village and settle. One, one, uh, one side she's talking like this, other side she's talking of the uh, limited edition uh, luxurious items. So this, uh, uh, I felt that this is now definitely a spider. Now in spider, I was failing with tarantula. So I had to search for some other spider where these things can uh, covered, get covered well. So then I, the meantime, I, uh, I was uh, studying this uh, PM uh, method and all. And then I started understanding that there can be different spiders at different age group. So then I thought of that, let me now think about that where I can fit her in the age group. So uh, then I said that her 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 habits and her her way of uh, dealing with the situations I found very uh, very uh, OCD type and so very anal and preschool type where where she gets into the mess but she doesn't know how to come out of the mess every time parents also parents only have to bring her out of the mess and all. And at this, uh, so I thought that this is anal stage preschool type, and uh, uh, so fine. Uh, and then, so I was coming to uh, two uh, group, um, uh, Miguel and Letrodectus. Now in Letrodecta, Miguel, I rem I ruled it out because there was no chorea or jerks or anything. So I ruled out on physicals Miguel. Now I had two things, Letrodectus hesity and Letrodectus mactans. So Letrodectus mactans, I felt that it has more of angina and uh, that kind of pathology. And Letrodectus hesity, I, uh, I saw that there are a lot of intense pains and inflammations and all, and also uterine pathology. And uh, so that is how I, uh, and I had seen few rubrics also uh, intermittently where I saw uh, Letrodectus hesility coming, like uh, delusion, dirty he is, fear of spiders, then always complaining. So complaining was rubric, then awareness heightened of the body, that air, air, somebody can feel the air in my 30 years of practice. I never heard that symptom, somebody feeling air on the body. And uh, then uh, this uh, undertaking many things, but persevering in nothing, then dreams of birds, nightmares. So these are the few rubrics also I had seen and uh, uh, compounding all my understanding and uh, rubrics and whatever I had studied and understood, I prescribed her uh, this uh, Letrodectus Hazelty. And after giving Letrodectus hesitate, I got a beautiful result. Uh, she, uh, uh, I'll just walk through her, uh, her uh, follow-up. So I gave her Letrodectus hesitate. Uh, and after the 3rd of the August, and she uh, got her periods, first period on 14th of August. Her dysmenorrhea was there, but flow was very good. And uh, uh, she got, so finally she got her periods after four and a half months. Uh, so th th then I uh, I gave her again repeated Letrodectus SLT on 29th of August at the ovulation period. 
uh, so she got the next period again exactly after 28 days on the 12th of september she got her periods then the next cycle then i had not repeated in between she got her uh, next cycle on 13th of october uh, uh, where, where proper flow the uh, dysmenorrhea had reduced drastically her uh, she, and she was much better there were uh, these abdominal complaints were also much better and uh, but mood swings were there so i again uh, repeated one more dose of uh, latrodectus azilty two doses on 25th of october and then again uh, she got her periods uh, on 2nd december uh, the periods were good and all uh, she was fine then um, then uh, after 2nd december uh, she uh, had not come and I had not uh, repeated. Then again, uh, she came to me a few days back saying that periods are delayed. I gave her again a dose of Letrodectus SLT and again the period has come. So now I am planning to increase the uh, uh, potency of Letrodectus. Uh, because I am 100% sure that she is Letrodectus SLT, but some, uh, somewhere I have to give her Letrodectus SLT practically every month one dose, which now I am planning that uh, to raise the potency and uh, uh, so that the cycles become more regular with less frequent repetition. And uh, we we have studied uh, all the spider uh, themes uh, in our uh, last video of uh, 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 theridion case of uh, uh, dr kushala uh, you all can go through that uh, case again which will make you all more now uh, give you more clarity about different spiders also and uh, so now I am inviting uh, Dr. Uh, Shobha to show on some light as spider, as an uh, Letrodectus hazelty, as an animal. Since it's a new remedy, I think it is uh, imperative for us to study the animal character also to understand the remedy better. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you very much. So, uh, uh, friends, uh, as Aditi said, the theme of spider group we had described last time in our uh, uh, Theridion's video. And uh, we will try to give the link of it even in the description of this video. Uh, so, uh, there is a very little material which is available about the Letrodectus hazelty Materia Medica. So, we have to, what the what effort we have done is we have tried to uh, connect, you know, meaning collect whatever data we have. In such cases where we have uh, scarcity of the data, we should try and learn, you know, the uh, homeopathic remedy from whichever uh, data, wherever we are getting from, we should try and use all the tools that is available to us. So I have tried to use, you know, the understand the source animal, the spider of Letrodectus hazelty and try to understand its nature and its uh, some of the habitats and uh, try to apply it in the uh, the, how we can apply it in the remedy that we will learn today. So the Letrodectus hazelty is, belongs to the class Arachnida and nearly there are 50,000 species of the spiders are available which are all over the spiders. Out of these the Letrodectus hazelty medicine is prepared from the New South Wales Australian redback spider and it is also known as Australian black, black widow. Now, this spider is one of the weakest spider amongst all. And if we see, then this spider have trichobothria. Now, it has very fine hair on, it, on their body and they do not have ears. And thus, they rely on these hairs. These tiny hairs are super sensitive and they are able to pick up the air movement which helps the spiders on their survival. Now we saw even in the Aditi's case that you know the patient was so sensitive to the air and she couldn't uh, bear that air on her body. So this is how we can see it and in the patients also. The sphere of action of this remedy, a Letrodectus hazelty is on to the mind, nervous system, blood, reproductive system of both males and females. And the myism which is predominant in this is leprosyphilitic. 
the letrodectus hazelty spider bites are very venomous and they produce neurotoxins causing distressing intense violent pains but these bites are non fatal and they are not life threatening and if we see the similar thing how we can apply it into the patients then in the patients also they come out, come to us with intense violent darting burning pains which precedes the paralysis and also during the fever and the pyrexia type uh, time also we see this type of uh, pains at the same time there is an edema of the neighboring neighborhood of the wound also the chronic blood poisoning which is seen in the patients and the paralysis of the limbs with wasting of muscles now uh, if we see then the leprodactus uh, uh, hazelty uh, spider which is there it is a very tiny spider in general there are spiders are of a varied sizes sizes you know it can be from the pin hole to a size of a palm but this uh, spider leprodactus hazelty is a very small tiny uh, spider and because it is a very small in size it is very light also in the weight so we see different type of themes in the in this remedy and uh, the themes of you know light and heavy so the patients will come out with the sensations and the delusions of being light floating flying hollow and at the same time the at the other polarity we see the theme of a heavy and a large now we have seen in ample of cases of us that you know the patients come out with different the two polarities are always seen and most of the cases like some may present in one polarity some in the other depending on which stage of disease they are or which stage of miasm they are coming with or the disease is presenting to us depending on that we will see the polarity and the symptoms falling into that group of polarity so here we get the different uh, another theme is also of a fearfulness and the fearlessness now we have seen the patients coming with they have the fears of insects spiders and monsters whereas in the other class of people are having the fearlessness and they are high spirited and they have with a increased mental power uh, also another theme of content and discontent is seen in this patients of letrodectus uh, hazelty that patients are either content or either they are discontent detached and indifferent also if we see the sexuality Uh, of this remedy, then we will have to understand the spiders. You know, the what is the sexuality seen in the spider? So the spiders of the Letrodectus hazelty, they have a very high sexual sexuality seen in them. The male spiders, they are much smaller in size than the female spiders, and the male spiders are the weaker uh, partner, whereas the female spiders are a stronger ones. The male spiders they do not survive after mating. and the female spiders they indulge in the sexual cannibalism so now what is this uh, cannibalism anita next slide so cannibalism is the practice of eating the flesh of one's own species and what is sexual cannibalism next slide now if we want to understand the sexual cannibalism of the letrodectus hazelty spiders which are there huh? so the sexual because sexual cannibalism is common in letro not common in all the spiders but it is commonly seen in the letrodectus hazelty spiders so this sexual cannibalism occurs when the female spider consumes its mate after copulation that is after intercourse so now when it comes to mating the male red back spider that is the uh, letrodectus hazelty spider it faces face a risky risky proposition how risky because the smaller uh, male attempt the male is very small in size and he attempts to mate with a single but a large size female okay and in it is seen that in over 60% of cases after the intimate inter, uh, intimate in, and encounter the female goes a step further and consumes the male after mating this reason the reason behind this sexual cannibalism lies in the unconventional mating position of the male spider the male spider positions himself above the female's jaw during copulation 
and just because of this position he provides certain advantages in terms of the paternity in terms of you know it's uh, having the next generation and uh, for his own genes and that is why the male takes this risk he risks his own life and he uh, uh, he goes into this position above the female's jaw so that the that is why the female you know literally kills the the male spider and eats him away this behavior is believed to have evolved as a manifestation of sexual conflict between because of the reproductive interests in both both the males and females differ now this is what like you know we will be able to see this into the little uh, detail into the uh, 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 rubric uh, uh, presentations of this remedy so which my friend dr anita will explain in little detail ki how we can see it yes anita can you please explain yes, yes. and also Thank the you. yeah this remedy is very well presented in rubrics like from the rubrics we can really understand it very well so anita has made a good effort to uh, you know explain us all this yes anita yeah thank you shobha uh, there are a lot of rubrics in this remedy so when i went through the rubrics first time i was not able to connect all the rubrics what i have done is i have tried to group them under different headings and then we will try to understand you know different shades or different qualities of this patient So first thing is, you know, these are, this is the basic disposition which I could find through all the dispositional rubrics, which show a very positive and strong image of this remedy, which is alert, carefree, cheerful, followed by prostration. Now in Aditi's case also, the girl, you know, she is enjoying and she is doing all reckless activities and then she is so prostrated that she sleeps for two days at a stretch. She doesn't feel like getting up from the bed. So these uh, reflections we will see in the case also. Then they have clairvoyance, which is very common in all these animals. Content with himself. Dancing ameliorates. Ease feeling off. Ease feeling off in business. Exhilaration politics about. Fearless, high-spirited, independent, industrious, objective, reasonable, patience, philosophy, ability for talking, desire to talk to someone in order to solve conflicts, tranquility. So we can see, you know, a little bit of maturity in this remedy where you get all these positive qualities of being objective, reasonable, philosophical ability and talking to in order to solve the conflict. So in this shade, you know, it comes so close to different other remedies like even Triticum vulgaris, which is considered to be a very good person. And a lot of, you know, strong rubrics like high fearless and high-spiritedness, like Shobha also described, there are two uh, polarities. So we can see this polarity. And now we will also try to understand, you know, there are few rubrics who fit into the male description, male uh, description of male Latrodectus SLT, which, you know, offers its own destruction for continuing its generation. So for that, you know, they are self-content. They offer to, you know, destroy themselves. So for that, they are fearless. They can, you know, dis uh, sacrifice themselves. So this is, you know, one part of it. And the other is destruction or the violence we will see later. So coming back to the rubrics, we also see the weakness because being small insect, the spider has a lot of weakness and they feel that they are small and they can be destroyed easily. So if you see the rubrics, delusion identity, she is someone else. So they are not very clear about their own identity. This shows their maturity, you know, this shows their development or we can come to know about the PEM aspect of it. On one side, they feel they are large and on other side, they feel that mind is separated from the body and they are under superhuman control. Then they, there is... Inactivity, persistent, physical laziness, laziness from sadness, time fritters away his time, undertaking many things, persevering in nothing, bed remain in desire to, 
company aversion to desire for solitude to indulge in her fancy so they are bored into their dream world so first set of symptoms we saw they are, they were the positive qualities and here we are seeing the weaknesses or the negative points where they cannot persist in one thing like our patient then there is slowness in motion there is also one rubric of slowness in purpose that means they come to be of use much later in their age so they don't develop according to their age then there is delusion light as shobha also described now these uh, like uh, aditi also described that they are aerial creatures so they always have a air quality what is air quality they don't have stability like air moves from one part to other there is lot of mobility so there is no stability so we will see what is the unsteadiness of this remedy delusion floating in air delusion flying constant delusion the ground were unsteady so that root chakra is weak and they are not very steady delusion things sees moving then like a boat foundering they also dream of boat foundering foundering is dagmagati now dreams walk, walking on the water water is not a, a solid ground it is very difficult to walk on water it is not possible to walk on water though few you know uh, sadhus have uh, done it but it is a very difficult thing to do it then delusion brain is swashing swashing means it is floating in the water so again that stability of brain is also not there and they live in their imaginary world where they have lot of desires and fancies so you see the rubrics like desires full of unattainable things for then they there is dream of climbing dream of high places dreams of money dreams of parties so this also shows their you know subconscious desire to achieve but to what extent they will be able to achieve reality is different so in reality what is there being small creature there is want of self confidence self depreciation delusion he cannot succeed he does everything wrong then delusion she cannot accomplish her work irresolution so efficiency is not there though dreams are big but the resources to achieve those dream dreams is not there then what it results in emotional disturbances so they always have this delusion forsakenness because they don't listen to others we will see other rubrics also where there is indifference to all reprimands they don't have confidence they have dreams at the same time they don't want to listen to anybody's advice so we will see how it leads to their downfall so delusion forsaken is no one would care for her she has been forsaken by her near friend she has lost the affection of friend and he is separated from the world so there is one case described on internet where the patient says i don't know whether i am you know you are seeing me or not i am there or not so that type of thing you know confusion is there whether i exist or i don't exist or i am separated from the world then there is duty aversion to domestic duty now if a person has this aversion to domestic duty how the ipr will look at them they are they have indifference to all reprimands so if we see aditi's case where she has so many behavioral issues and if the person is indifferent to all reprimands then what will be the fate of ipr irritability wishes to be alone this is one more characteristic of spiders that they are you know they want solitude they want to be isolated they sit in the corner so they want their you know isolation irritability children towards irritability family to her and irritate irritability to loved ones so you don't see any smooth ipr here and even in aditi's case she did not have good relation with her family members then there is it irritability itching from rage insults after rage trifles at and sentimental in moonlight now there is sentimentality but connection is missing so this can be you know a male character in letterdictus hasselty where uh, male is you know trying to 
the female uh, spider which doesn't pay much heat to him for a longer time and then finally when she agrees she tries to eat it up then there are a lot of delusions which are related to health and there is a lot of anxiety hypochondriac anxiety or anxiety about health so this is one remedy spider group with health anxiety that type of combination also you can get where there is delusion about the erroneous state of the body, then there are a lot of symptoms which are related to OCD. So there is delusion dirty he is, delusion emptiness of, delusion heavy is, delusion light is, delusion body is hollow, about to be poisoned, about being poisoned by medicine, sick being. And then despair over small things like itching of the skin from who gets itching a uh, despair from itching of the skin and also there is despair from flatulence so these are the minor things which affect him to the extent of feeling despair despair is utter hopelessness so you can see the resource position of this person then there is fear of impending contagious epidemic disease like uh, Aditi also described, this patient also had anxiety during COVID season. Then fear that she has ruined her health. Now, you know, the subconscious mind is so full. In this case, there are so many, in this uh, remedy, there are so many dreams and they are of diverse type, which gives you the idea of their mind being so, you know, complicated and complex. So there are dreams of wrongful crime accusations, betrayed having been, bitten being, judicial court. There is, you know, this angle of judicial court, police and uh, uh, being chased and uh, politics and exhilaration about politics. So, you know, politics is one thing where, you know, a lot of deceitfulness is there. A lot of uh, wrong promises are made. So I, I could connect it there that politics may be connected because of that. Then there is a dream of danger, dream of difficulties on journey, embarrassment, explosion, fleeing, guilt. So they have committed some crime and they are trying to flee. Killing brother is her uh, sister is killing her brother. Dreams police, dream political, dreams threat of rape, dreams visionary. Visionary is a fancy, you know, that being a politician, I'm visionary. But then how much actual genuine work they can do is difficult. Dreams of unsuccessful efforts and dreams of being wounded. Now in complete repertory, these are the rubrics which are a little different. There is a lot of anger. Anger with jealousy, anger on attempting to read. This is a single remedy rubric. Then anger suppressed and controlled. Then there is aversion to family, especially parents. Then there is a dream that she is a man. So we see a lot of tomboyish characteristics in this patient. And female is stronger. So that is, you know, the masculine female. And more aggressive also because she is eating up the male partner. Dreams following, she is following men. She is following men can be, you know, they are following the habits of the men or they are actually following the men. Then uh, homosexual men and there is aversion to husband. Husband is some, someone who dominates. So they don't like that some strong character in their life. There is touched aversion to being specially charismatic. So that loving touch, also they are very sensitive. So summing up, it's a small non-aggressive creature, but they will bite if they are disturbed. Then poison is also too mild, biting frequently, but then uh, the biting is not uh, very fatal. They are reclusive. Then uh, sexual cannibalism, as uh, Shobha described, the strong large female with men like and destruction and mutilation and male is weak content helps female for his own destruction and there is a, a dream of arms being amputated 
arms being amputated means you are so incapable, you are so handicapped that you cannot do anything. So uh, we see lack of confidence in the spider remedy. They don't have clear identity. Work efficiency is also low. And they suffer from insults, embarrassment, wounded honor, indifference to reprimands, desire for conversation, but they are forsaken by loved ones because they have also they also have aversion for loved ones. So basically they want to connect, but they don't have skills to stay connected. Like Aditi said, she can make friends easily, but then she cannot continue the relationship for longer period. Then there is a lot of intolerance, anger and impulses. Then anxiety of health, flatulence, itching, cause despair. So the type of, you know, minor complaints also can cause despair in this case. So this is from my side. I will invite Dr. Nirupama to throw some light on PEM aspect of the remedy. Thank you, Anita. But if you see, uh, Aditi has beautifully connected her spider understanding and then she could go to the PM understanding and prescribe the remedy. Such a beautiful integration, right? So I tried to understand this case through PM. So overall, spiders, if you see, comes from tubercular to syphilitic zone. And latrodectus hasselti, basically a leprous myism. That's why if you see the rubrics are, a lot of rubrics about the forsaken, isolation, separation, despair. This type of rubrics are there. Dirt also. Sort of dirty, yeah, dirty is also there. So, a lot of things about leprous. Hmm? So basically, spiders are divided into these two types, arinomorphs and mygolomorphs. Arinomorphs, they spin cobweb in air. Uh, that big cobwebs, if you see. And they have the poisonous glands. So their action is more severe compared to mygolomorphs who, who are seen in tunnels, tubular holes or under the ground. Uh, and they are non-poisonous. So if you see Aronomos, you'll be able to see more clear air qualities or adolescent qualities huh? because they are more creative types. The cobweb looks really beautiful. So that is one of the possibility. And even their pricks are more violent than mygolomorphs. So uh, if you see this chart, what is important is this is seventh column of the uh, animal uh, chart. So basically, aerial, aerial who has capacity to fly, hmm? adolescent qualities, lot of adolescent qualities, and you see the water and womb stage where Miguel comes. Aditi said uh, Miguel has lot of chorea, takes convulsions, this type of symptoms. Hmm? When we go down, here is the latrodectus, which covers the early childhood. So, toddler to early childhood here. So, what is the difference? If you see latrodectus being from in a toddler, spiders basically are hypersensitive, right? They, they, they explore the world through the senses. But their senses are quite sensitive, hypersensitive. So, when... Any animal is in toddler stage, they try to bring control over it. They try to control the things. So, this is how the OCD is seen in this patient. Patient is trying to control that feeling of dirt. So, that control is there. As opposed to that, Michael, if you see, there is no control. That's why it's continuously, there are vibrations, convulsions, chorea uncontrolled, involuntary movements. Hmm? So that is one aspect I am thinking about the latrodectus here, where it is toddler at early school age. So what, what is column seven? Column seven, it's almost the end of invertebrate column seven. So they're very contained. Now they want to go away from the earth. So they're ready to fly. 
with which there is lot of creativity and air element. Hmm? So, again, spider are at the end of invertebrates. Now they want to be seen. Before that, they, they, they hesitate. They do not want, they shy away. But spiders want to be seen. They try to try work hard towards it. But what happens when all eyes on them, they feel difficulty because that is their strategy. See, their focus is very difficult. They are not able to focus on the prey. So they really work hard to focus on the prey and then they pounce on them. So they feel very uncomfortable when all eyes on them. So they want attention, but they are not able to grab it. But then how they get maybe positive way, negative way, either through their creativity or sometimes negativity. Like how this patient is very loud, temper tantrums, anger. So this is the way she is attracting the attention. So this is the negative way of attracting the attention. And as I said, it is from infancy to early childhood. What is infancy? Instant gratification. I want now impulsivity. I am going for the shopping. Huh? Uncontrolled shopping. Huh? So there is no control over emotions or body. Toddler, I said, that it tries to bring control over it. Then it becomes too tight because there is a fear of losing. And the early childhood. What is early childhood? There is a lot of curiosity. I want to do this. I want to do that. See, I like doing cooking. But soon I feel, no, no, no. I, I just like the plating. Huh? So they, there is multiple curiosities at this uh, age. Along with that, there is a sexuality. Huh? Curious about the sex too. Hmm? Aerial with earth quality. Huh? It is. It comes under the earth quality. So what they try to work, they try to exist, they try to settle, but they find it very difficult because of the unsteadiness, because of the focus, attention, all these are the issues here and they are not able to manage that. Hmm? Too many things attract them. Huh? This is again the air quality, but they keep trying new things. So this is what little I could think about from the PM perspective about the Latrodectus SLT. So I invite Dr. Kushala. She will explain various types of spiders from the symptom point of view. Thank you, Nirapama. So one more point I friends. wanted to just add. Yeah. One second, Kushala. Uh, in lateral rectus facility, there are a lot of dreams of climbing. That again talks about the toddler quality. Strong toddler quality. They want to perform. They want to do. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yes. So what I wanted to say is like my friends. Nerupama, Shobha, Anita, Aditi, they have explained or integrated this entire latrodectus case in a very nice and a well-rounded way. Now, if we come down to a spider remedy, there are so many remedies. How can we really, you know, zero down on the right spider? So this class Arachinida is having two suborders, that is Araneomorphiae, and mygalomorphia. Now in arenomorphia, you have all the arenias like arenia diadema, arenia exobola, arenia cincenia, there's tarantula hispania, theridon, theridion, lactrodectus mactin, lactrodectus hesilti, as well as loxosius. Now, how do we really differentiate getting all the data? There are so many common themes of spiders which we are so well aware of like the restlessness, their wittiness, their cunningness, their manipulation. Now, if we have to really zero down on which spider are we dealing with, there's something like we get into where is the spider having an affinity to. So, Arania diadema's main affinity is the nervous system and it has a hemorrhagic tendency. So, what we'll see is because of the nervous system affection, you will see there's a lot of electric shock-like pains. 
and violent hemoptysis. At the same time, this particular spider, Arania, has a lot of sensation as if parts are enlarged and heavy, and they are extremely sensitive to dampness and coldness. The sensitivity to dampness and coldness is so much, it's as if the coldness enters the bone, it penetrates the bone. With the rest of the spider symptoms like restlessness and sensitivity to noise and music. Now, if we, as against Arania diadema, which is so much affinity to the nervous system, Arania exobola, you will see an affinity for the digestive system. So here, there will be symptoms of nausea with hepatic affections. At the same time, because of the digestive affinity, they cannot tolerate rich food. And there's an intense concern about the family health, along with all the other features of spider, like teasing, witty, deceitfulness. Now, in Arania sinsenia, see, there are three different affinities in all these three Arania's. has a marked affinity on the eyes, because of which we'll see symptoms of, there is a concomitant of sleepiness. In most of their symptoms, there's intense sleepiness, and there's twitching of the lower eyelid, which you will see in Arania sinsenia, along with such a dull, stupid headache that they can't even collect their thoughts. Now, Tarantula Hispania is a remedy which we have all been prescribing over the years. It's one of the most common spider remedy or the first spider remedy that we can think of. It's a Spanish spider. So now this particular spider has an affinity not only for the nerves, but also for the spine, heart and respiration. Because of which you'll see violent neuralgias with a lot of tingling and numbness and chorea. As well as you will see when a tarantula spider bites you, there's something what happens is called tarantulism, where the patient goes into a frenzy of uncontrollable dancing. And the dancing is so much that unless they are uh, soothed by music, they don't calm down. And they dance and dance and dance till the music soothes them and they fall down prostrated and they collapse. Tarantula has a lot of destruction and violence and extreme sexual erethism of nymphomania. Theridion is something which we have already learned in this one and a half months ago video, which we will share again. The link is an orange spider. Theridion's most characteristic is the hyperesthesia that it has at the nerve level. All the senses are hyperesthetic. But the noise sensitivity is extremely marked that this noise penetrates. It can cause nausea. It can cause motion sickness. And this type of, you know, noise sensitivity is so marked, it is the hallmark of Theridion. Even our last video of Theridion showed the child having this type of noise sensitivity. And there is a marked craving for oranges and bananas in Theridion. At the same time, Lactrodectus, which is our remedy for today, has two Lactrodectus, Mactin and Hesselty. So Mactin is a black widow spider. Its main action is on the heart and on the blood coagulability. Because of its action on the heart or the cardiac muscle, you will see all angina, ischemic heart disease, myocardial infarct, endocarditis, everything to do with the heart muscle. And being an important action on the blood coagulability, you will see that the blood is thin and watery. At the same time, being a heart remedy, you will see left-sided affections and patient will have a lot of anxiety of the heart and a fear of dying. While Lactrodectus hasilti, which is the remedy of today, is a red back spider. And it has got marked action on the blood poisoning and septicemias. So you'll see a lot of intense pain in all these pioneers, a lot of edema around the wound. At the same time, it's a small spider. So we have already discussed that there's a lot of delusion of flying. And Dr. Shobha has already explained about sexual cannibalism, how the female spider eats over the male. Now is Loxosilis. This is a spider which has got action on abdominal pain and back pain. 
So the main sensations over here is a sensation of hollowness and emptiness. Now, the second, you know, the category, the suborder is the mygalomorphia, where you have the mygale and tarantula cubensis. So mygale is a bird spider. Dr. Aditi already mentioned that she ruled out mygale, which was something which came to her mind during her case because of the chorea. So mygale's affinity is for chorea's, especially of the upper limb. But also there can be a lot of these convulsive and jerky movements of the whole body. And it is better by sleeping, worse in the morning. Mygale also has a lot of violent, troublesome sexual passion. While our tarantula cubensis, its marked affinities on the cellular tissue. So you'll see a lot of atrocious, burning, stinging pain. A lot of septic conditions will be seen in tarantula cubensis. So it's called like it soothes the pain of death. That means you can imagine how severe the types of pain and inflammation is. So you will see a lot of carbuncles, you'll see bluish abscess, you'll see gangrene and with a lot of alarming prostration. So these are some of the key, you know, uh, differentiations at the physical level, at the physical particular level, along with all the themes of spider, which runs through and through in the case. So uh, with this, I invite Dr. Aditi to share her second case. Yeah, thank you, Kushala. And uh, now we have just uh, studied the spider letter dectus uh, hazelty in quite a detail. And as uh, Shobha and uh, Anita both mentioned, that there are a lot of polarities of the symptoms. And even in rubrics, we see a lot of polarities. Now I'll describe one more case, uh, which was a case of uh, menorrhagia, severe menorrhagia since one and a half months. And uh, she uh, was a menopausal lady. She had come to me uh, uh, with a complaint of severe bleeding. Now she's a friend's friend and uh, so there was no much detailed case taking or anything. She had just dropped in my clinic and um, uh, she told me that she had come with my friend and she said that Aditi, I have a severe bleeding problem since one and a half uh, months I am bleeding heavily and this, so then I said okay. Uh, so that was a May, month of May and she had just visited Gujarat, which is extremely hot in uh, May, month of May. The temperature goes around 45, 47 degree that high uh, in May and she had just come from there. And then I, uh, I, I was trying to understand uh, her. So I said, OK, yeah, tell me, how was your trip? So she said, oh, it was wonderful. Are, what a fun, you know, we had so much of ice cream and it was fun to eat ice cream in this heat. And like I could see the exhilaration on her face and the cheerfulness. I mean, it was worth seeing that, you know. And I was like, and me and my friend, the other friend who had, she had come with me, like we were thinking that, oh, it is so hot and all. And the other friend was already had started creeping about the heat of the Gujarat. And in that, she is dis describing this. Then uh, uh, she huh, the temperature the temperature was there. It was there, 47, 48. But that though we were knowing, no, because we were going in May. So I was already knowing that it is going to be so hot. So what? It is going to be hot. But then that enjoyment of ice cream, otherwise you will never get this kind of enjoyment. So I could feel that high spiritedness in her, that, that enjoyment in her. So I just, that time I took this and anyway, I was knowing a little bit through my friend and we had uh, met uh, many times before also in the uh, social gatherings and all. Always I have found her very content, very peaceful, very cheerful, never complaining, totally opposite of what I have seen this second case of uh, where I had prescribed. So during that time, I just took few three to four rubrics and the rubrics which I took was high spirited objective reasonable if I'm going in May it is going to be hot objective reasonable high spirited content and uh, uh, cheerful I took these four rubrics and the remedy came was uh, letrodictus hazardy 
now that is i am talking of almost 4 to 5 years back my uh, this experience and that time i was not knowing about this remedy at all so as usual my habit is like that something like this comes up i start reading about it i started reading there and there latrodectus acidity i made a sit in my clinic i started reading about it whatever i could understand i ordered for that remedy i got that remedy i prescribed her and to my surprise this was really surprising for me and to my surprise her bleeding stopped completely she went into a very beautiful peaceful uneventful menopause and this is now four 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 five years she never has any problem and she still remembers what medicine you had given me uh, my bleeding had stopped so this is another polarity of latrodectus hazelty which i had seen practically in a case in uh, my practice so yes we have to keep our mind very open we have to keep studying and we we cannot confine ourselves to any particular image of any particular remedy because remedies have and especially like now we are exploring more and more of these animal kingdom remedies certain plant kingdom remedies every every uh, patient has also different states and every animal uh, every animal animal is a basically a complex living being so they will also have lot of different phases different things in their life where we have when we have collected that particular sample from that remedy so many things will depend on that so we have to keep our mind very open we we cannot confine ourselves in any particular image of any remedy and i would really request all of you to go and study remedies we are also exploring these remedies tomorrow more and more things we will also come to know about these uh, less practiced remedies and you all also this is a pandora's box it is open now and we have to keep doing research we have to keep improving and we have to keep working towards excellence and heal the sufferers our ultimate goal is to heal the sufferers we have to do it in with through our studies yeah so thank you friends thank you yeah thank you